Hey, Matt here with Mob Street. And just talking to the local dealership and found out that they've got some 2020 TWs in stock. Said they had six of them. Now they've only got one left. So we're going to go over there and chat with them before the other one's gone as well. So uh, let's go check it out. So. The dealership that we're going to today is in a town called Fairview, Utah. Um, it's just off of, actually it's on Old Highway 89. So, before I went to look at this TW, I pulled up the 2019 TW specs on Yamaha's website and did a comparison with the 2020 TW specs just to see if Yamaha had made any changes to the TW and um, from what I found nothing has changed from <laughs> 2019 to 2020 which I wasn't that I mean I wasn't really surprised at all because over the last 30 years there has been very few changes made and the ones that have been made have been very minor when we get there we're gonna just you know take a look around the bike um, see if any of the cosmetics have changed as far as handlebars go as far as you know controls or anything like that just to see if there are any major differences with the 2020 um, just to make sure you know I didn't make anybody angry just by going over to the dealership and and just pulling out my camera and starting to record things I did give them a call beforehand just to make sure it was okay that I came over and recorded this so <clears throat> it is a small town dealership so I was able to talk to the owner and just say hey you know I I want to come over and just you know take a look at the 2020 TW and um, so just to make sure that you know I'm not upsetting anybody I was given permission to go over here and film this video all right just got here so that's it big pine sports that's where we're gonna be and just a little old town of Fairview so right there that stop sign you take it right that'll take you right up Fairview Canyon and right up on top of there is Skyline Drive so let's go in and take a look at the bike all right there it is 2020 TW 200 and if I'm not mistaken the color is the sandy beige and black so same as the 2019 and just spoke with the owner and as far as he knows no changes have been made which I expected after looking at the specs online so just do a quick walk around of it it's your 199 or so excuse me 196 um, CC engine Still just under the 31 inch seat height, so extremely low to the ground, lightweight, sturdy, same with front and rear tires, foot pegs are the same, exhaust is the same, you know just your normal width foot pegs which I know has been a concern with some people they've upgraded them quite a bit here we go little shout out to Big Pine come up here still the same 1.8 gallon fuel tank look at that one mile so same handlebars grips Disc wheel on the front, 
or sorry, disc brake on the front. And same old but reliable little drum brake on the rear. Passenger bags. And there we go. So again, about five and a half inches of travel on the front suspension, just under five inches of travel on the rear suspension. Now when you're looking at these, you can get them street legal. It's only about $100 more to get it street legal. Might as well do it because then full capability on-road and off-road. So there you go. Walk around to the 2020 TW200. So talking to the owner about the racks that you can get for those TWs. Um, he actually stocks the cycle racks for the back of it, which you can see right here. Let's take a gander. The price on that. Let's see if we could zoom in. There we go. $199.95. So, if you stop into Big Pine to grab a TW, might as well get the rack for it as well, because like I said, they're just right there on the wall. And, in my personal opinion... They're one of the best racks that you can get for the TW. So, anyways, just a little bit of information there as well. Okay, so we're back home now. And this is my 2019 TW. So, as you can see, from the 2020 to back to the 2019, there is not that much of a difference. So, um, <clears throat> as far as the bike goes, still a great value. Buying them brand new, buying them used. They're going to hold their value, um, and they're just, again, just a blast to ride. So, in one of my earlier review videos, I had somebody ask me what the bike sounds like. It's a stock 196cc engine, so it doesn't sound like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Which is another reason I wanted to, wanted to keep it stock, actually, so I could ride up in the mountains and not you know bother anybody else up there so just do a quick sound clip of what the bike sounds like for you and that'll be it so you can't go wrong with the 2020s you can't go wrong with the 2019s you really can't go wrong with the TW period so if you find one that has been well taken care of you're gonna have just as much fun on that one as you will a brand new one so again big shout out to Big Pine uh, sports over there in Fairview for letting us come over and do the walk around and the video of the 2020 TW and Yeah, we'll call it good for this one. I'm Matt and thanks for watching